that book away and go hell. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. So we're moving. Nice. Oh, we're finally moving. Mm, I can legit sleep to this music. I'm, t I'm getting tired already. Jeez. No. Okay. Oh. There we go. Finally leaving the snow. Jeez. Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Don't get drunk. Oh shoot, I'm playing. I was sleeping. Oh fuck no. <laughs> this music is so damn good, it made me fall asleep. <laughs> I like how they all just leave. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. I don't think that's real realistic, is it? I don't know if you can fix a wheel that easily. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Who's that? What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. <coughs> Oh shoot. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. 
I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Duchess talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but... When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted mm -hmm. around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. I mean, we're on a road trip, can't we know about it? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, but what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low? It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. I don't even know how to use that thing. I've heard of those things, but I've, I think I saw it like once, but I don't I, I never really knew what those things are for. I guess to make things, but what do I make with that? I don't fucking know. There you are, brother. Head in there, follow the track for a bit. Oh, okay. I guess we're here. I think that's Javier. Yeah, it is Javier. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Yeah, it is no. Javier. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Sweet home. You weren't wrong, Hosea. This place 
is perfect. Are. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. Is everything about yes, you? I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I Make sure it's good, good business. Usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Okay. The girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it. Damn. <laughs> she don't play. Well, we moved. That's a good thing. Chapter 2, A Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. Good. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Okay. Arthur? Jose? Quite a day. Let's hope so. Got a bushy Thanks, beard. A bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> wow. How helpful. Now, only 15 minutes in this video. Huh. Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. 
We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Uh... I mean... I mean, can we give a slice, I guess? Does, how, how does this work? Okay, contribute. Give item, I guess? Oh. Donate. Donate. Oh! I like how that works. Okay. Um, maybe we can eat some, I guess. Good morning. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah. There's just actually shit to do now. Yes, let's be very American and litter. Uh, Uncle's got a mission for us. Of course the man's fucking sleeping. Oh! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. I'm sure you do. Horses are ready. If you're going to take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> Wait, did I hear one of their names are Car is Karen? <laughs> One of their names is Karen. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are gonna love it. Okay then, let's go. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Oh shoot, wrong way. Oh, I do not know how to ride a red horse or drive a wagon. What kind of song is this? Someone kill me. Someone kill me. Huh? What was that? Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll help him. Alright, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You alright there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? 
Mm. Why not? Let's do the same thing you did at the farm. Oh, I can study it. He's doing, doing good. Easy boy. Good boy. Good boy. Man, up has been doing this for 20 years. He can do this in any day. Me? I've, I've been doing this for less than two weeks, I think. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. I think. I don't know. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Impress the women. Okay, bro. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one? And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just hmm? remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there. Near the stables. Okay. What the hell is this about? Who are you talking to? Alright. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man, You're so funny. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self respecting maniac does put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. Imagine Paris and so that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. If you can let me in, you fat ass. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Okay. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Anything else we can buy? What's at the... Oh, so... Ah. I'm probably never going to use these.
probably won't need so, everything else. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Hmm. What do you reckon? A lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Yeah, I don't think I'll need any of these. Yeah, I'm good. I mean, what's all on the shelves? Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep. Wait, That's what? Fifteen <laughs> bucks for a pocket watch! Oh my god! All the best, fellers. Fucking savages. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down a year off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. It's not like just sleep for a bit. I think I got something good. Good. What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They haven't gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna go and see what's up. Oh, that doesn't sound good either. I've been Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? Oh, oh you want you wanna find out? Hey yeah, what do you wanna do, eh? You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Time to go. Oh shit. <laughs> man, I just wanted to threaten him, man. Man, I just wanted to threaten him. Get your hands off her. Yeah, man. A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. Yo, 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 go. Now, right now. Then leave. If you don't get out of here right now. Yeah, leave right now. Right now. Time to leave. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I'm mean, gonna shoot you. I ain't doing this with you right now. Yeah, smart choice. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. No one That's noticed. Fine. Nice. Can I get a little smooch? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. It's a joke. It's a joke. See about Karen in the hotel. Yeah, let's go find a Karen. <laughs> You looking for a room? Use your I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. I'm getting what I paid for. Wait, pay for? Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Let's oh, come on, man. Oh, oh god. Oh, what? What the hell oh. are you doing? Here? Well, time to loot him. Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and but stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. 
Okay. Can't believe I just saved a Karen. <laughs> I think I can't believe I just saved a Karen. After you. Thank you, Arthur. No, Much we're all like right. Safe, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right then. Hey. Was well, a drunk fella too. Over there, looking at us. Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Cool. Get. But, uh, why would you be so like revealing like this? Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. No, just a word. I'll be back. Just on it. You stay away from me. Get back huh? here right now. Oh, you went that way. Shit. Nope, sorry. Nope, sorry for the chickens. You ain't gonna get. Yeah, but just slow down, man. Oh shoot, that wasn't good. Don't make me. Sh oh, okay. Maybe I don't need to shoot him. I mean, you said someone. Telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up, please. Just pull me up. Come on. I'm so tempted right now. Wait, what? Oh shit. <laughs> and I just wanted to scare him, man. I just wanted to scare him. I also just wanted to look, fucking look over the edge. Well, I'm, I'm gonna return that horse. I'm gonna return that horse, that's the last thing I do. I'm sorry that a dude got scared over one bullet, but yeah, okay. Some kind of problem. Out of the with way. Me. That's enough. Quit it. Stay here, girl. Nice. 